Portal 2 Disturbed Chanting Hidden in an early test chamber of the game, there is an abandoned room off to the side of the chamber. If you stand close enough to one of the graffiti covered walls in this room, you can hear this weird disturbed chanting, and I'm only going to play a few seconds of this because I find it creepy as fuck. <laughs> Fans believe this is a background character that was introduced in the Portal comic book named Doug Ratman. Ratman was the only survivor of GLaDOS's neurotoxin attack prior to the events of the first game. He is a schizophrenic and is responsible for all the graffiti and junk laying around both games. Oh yeah, I also forgot to mention he apparently lives inside a wall. Original Xbox Haunted Dashboard This next easter egg is not found in any game. It's actually found on the original Xbox dashboard menu when left idling for an extended period of time, and I must say, it's quite unsettling. It would play this very creepy audio with distorted voices. Take a listen. Major Nelson, director of programming for Xbox Live, said that the audio was public domain NASA transmissions from the Apollo days that they had tweaked to use for the interface. Halo 3 Monkey Family On the first playable level of Halo 3, a strange looking monkey family can be found. Though you can't kill these monkeys, you can shoot them, and they do bleed. But that's not the only monkey easter egg in the Halo series. Another monkey can be found in a much harder to reach part of the same level, however it is outside the map and you can only get there by killing yourself and respawning in the right place. And finally, at the end of Halo 3 ODST, the final cutscene, you can move the camera to the left during the last few seconds and see another monkey. Fans say they are supposed to resemble Marcus Leto, the creative art director of Bungie. Others think it's just creepy. GTA 5 Ghost of Jolene Cranley Go to the top of Mount Gordo at around 2300 hours and zoom in on this flat rock and you will see a ghost floating above a message that reads Jock written in blood. On an in-game website you can find some newspaper clippings detailing the death of Jolene Cranley, the wife of Jock Cranley, the famous stuntman, movie star, now politician. Jock Cranley pushed Jolene off the edge of the cliff in 1978 because she objected to his aspirations to become a stuntman in Los Santos. He was taken into custody by police, but was immediately released with no charges. Jolene now haunts the top of Mount Gordo, but only around 11 to 12 at night. Game Boy Camera Faces of Evil The Game Boy Camera was a weird accessory to begin with. It allowed you to take small grainy photos with your Game Boy, which could then be printed out into small grainy stickers if you hooked it up to your Game Boy printer, which was pretty advanced for the time. What made it so creepy was the messages hidden throughout the program. It came loaded with minigames and editing features among which was a run option, and if you dared select this run option, it would freeze the system for a second and show one of these three faces, accompanied by the phrase, who are you running from? And even if you managed to stay away from the run option, you were still at risk of being terrified by one of these images if you came across a small system error. Seriously, what the f*** Nintendo?